No, that's actually a pretty common fallacy. Just because there is a possibility of something happening does not mean that it is definitely happening. That is like saying if I had a set of 10 integers valued 1 through 10, we would see all the numbers in the set. That is not at all true. If you choose random numbers, it's actually very likely that one number, maybe even more numbers, will not show up. Or look at this at a simpler level. You flip a coin, it ends up heads. Then you flip it again. What's it likely to end up as? The answer is 50% heads or tails. Tails is not more likely to happen just because it could happen. So your proposition here requires a lot of assumptions. First of all, what's the chance that aliens exist? Second of all, what's the chance that aliens have done ultra-low temperature quantum physics? Third of all, what's the chance that aliens have done ultra-low temperature quantum physics and have reached half a billionth of a degree above absolute zero? Then we have to ask, what is the chance that these aliens exist? What is the chance that they've done ultra-low temperature quantum physics? What is the chance that they've reached half a degree above absolute zero? What is the chance that you can get lower than that? What is the chance that they have gotten lower than that? And what is the chance that they exist within our observable universe? Because if you can't go faster than the speed of light, then their existence doesn't mean anything to us anyway. And that is a whole bunch of unknowns, and none of it, none of it is guaranteed to be true. Just because we don't know of the existence of something does not mean that that thing necessarily has to exist somewhere. All we know is what we've observed, and according to what we have observed, there is nothing lower temperature than what we did in that lab at MIT. Other than that, you're just making a guess. There's nothing out there that says any alien species would be more or less advanced than us, or even do science or reasoning in the same way. Because here's how that turns into a fallacy. You could make that argument no matter where you are and who you are in the universe. So let's say there was an alien species that got a fourth of a degree above absolute zero. Then you could say to them, wouldn't it stand to reason that someone got to an eighth, or a sixteenth, or a thirty-second, so on and so forth. And then suddenly you have a universe filled with infinite alien species that have infinite advances in science. But that's not true. The universe, or at least the practical universe, is finite. There are areas of the universe that are expanding faster than light can reach us. We will never see their light, and we will never interact with their matter. So the only thing that practically exists in our universe is our observable universe. Sure, things might exist outside the observable universe, but for all intents and purposes, that doesn't matter. They cannot interact with us. It is just a dark void. It is, effectively, non-existence. So yeah, our observable universe is a finite set. And a finite set does not guarantee that everything that can appear in that set will appear in that set.